Christmas is upon us, retro style. Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back of his Teardown Lab. Indeed, Christmas is upon us. So knowing that uh, my young kids are into video games and despite having the DS's and the Wii's and the Xbox's and Switches and all that stuff, I know that these would go down a storm. And these are those little consoles that you see on Amazon. So I've got two models here. One is the 400 game in one, which comes in a variety of colors. And one is this retro FC plus, but it says 500 in one is how they tend to pitch that one. And it comes in a more sedate, professional look. So we'll open them up and show you what they are. Cause I really, I want to do it carefully though. Cause these are gifts, of course. Um, I might leave the screen protector on. Oh, oh boy, just to show you that, look. Mm. That is incredibly interesting size-wise. In fact, I do have a box beside me that was sent to me from Elliot the Retro Future, which has a few Nintendo parts in it. And I can see here is the gold Nintendo we were messing around with. But just as a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see it's almost like a mini version. Although, ironically, the screen size looks whopping. <laughs> so it's have a three-inch screen size. So the screen is way bigger than the original. Um, I'm glad I'd look in this box, actually, because uh, there's plenty for me to want to play with. I've not finished playing with that. <laughs> yeah, thank you again, Elliot, for that. Right, and we're going to have a look, a uh, deeper dive into this one. Uh, the screen does look a bit scratched up, but I think there's a screen protector on there. A uh, few, few fun prints. It says 501 on the back there, and you take off the lid. You Nokia, a Nokia-style battery. These are great batteries, by the way. Um, if I'm kind of hoping that somebody one day makes a PCB mount battery holder for them because they're so common in things and they're just decent enough. Boom. So in it goes like that. That feels quite convincing. Yeah, reasonably uh, nice battery door there. Decent plastic. Volume down here. You've got a 5 volts in here, which is on the old USB. Uh, I want to say mini. I don't think it was the micro. This is the mini. And then, of course, your TV output. Because most things like this. Whoa! Just fired it on and it just goes straight in. So it has some charge. Now, just before I jump into that, let's just have a very quick look in the box. You have here the USB charging cable, the TV cable. And interesting, that something that also goes on the same charging cable is the joypad. And uh, this one doesn't look like its bag will survive re-gifting. Oh, no, it will. Oh, look at that. And surprisingly, it feels actually okay. I mean, the D-pads could be better, but it's definitely not terrible. I think you'll get by for sure, get by for that. So uh, that gives you the second player games if you're playing like your second player on multi, oh, uh, Mario, on multi. Hmm. Now, uh, instantly I did go for here to turn it on. It's on the wrong side. There's a bit of music coming. Let's turn off that one. English or Chinese? Let's go for English. And I'll just turn the volume down. I'll push start. So, Contra 24 in 1, Super Contra, Contra 4, Super Contra 7, Final Mission. So there seems to be a lot of Contras there going on. Jackal, Russian Attack. Is it moving too? Oh, it seem to be trying to move too. A little bit sensitive there, but let's try a game that I know, Excite Bike. No, Super Mario. And I'm just holding the screen up off camera a little bit just so I can I can focus on it just to see. And yeah, it is actually pretty good. It's um It's actually really nice. <laughs> Considering these things are uh, I, I don't know why I paid for them, is it? Somewhere between 12 and 20 pounds, I'm thinking. I don't know the exact price. I'll put a link down below to what Amazon say they are. But So that's jump. Oh, there's turbo buttons. So Y is your, your run button. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was just getting into that. There's a reset button here. Let's see then. I guess we have to select English from the menu every time. So I'm just going to 
go through the menu very quickly. So you have your Contra, Russian Attack, Jackal, Super Mario's, and I don't know if they're just level jumps, I suspect they are. Ninja Turtles, Ninja Gaiden, Adventure Island, again, turn off that sound, it's driving me nuts. Tiny Toons, Chippendale Adventures, Hot Blood. I don't know what Hot Blood is. Lots of Hot Blood. Cage, Gun Mac, Rockman 3, Street... Okay, <laughs> I think we have to have a quick look at the Street Fighter after. Kickmaster, another Street Fighter. Snow Bros, Batman, Silkworm. Bobble Part 2, Muscle Gorilla War. Section Z. Binary Land, Bomberman, Clown. So there's, I'm just now I'm going to really start jumping through to see when we can start seeing a repeat on the list. Angry Birds, Ghostbusters, Air, Argus. They haven't done a good job of <laughs> making sure the names make too much sense. Oh my gosh, there's so many here. Flappy, Flipple, Ghost Castle, Hello Kitty. Hydlide, Kung Fu, Shrew House. I wonder what Shrew House is. It could be a mappy. Metro, Metro Cross, Metro Mania, Valkyrie, Mighty Bomb Jack, Xevious. Whew. I don't know if I'm seeing any doubles yet, to be honest with you. There was mappy, just went past. Pac Man, Sky Destroyer, Tennis. Zippy Race, Mirror Devil, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Enough for that. So you get the general idea on it anyway. It's just got the multi-ROM thing on it. And that's good. So that's fine. We're going to leave this now over there on the side and just check out now the 400 in one, which um, for all intents and purposes looks very similar to me. Comes in a slightly less funky box but ooh, it does it does look like a funky unit itself my gosh is it nice what a nice color too look at that just to compare the back it does look like pretty much the same chassis the volume control markings are slightly different the volume control wheel is slightly different so either there are different versions from the same factory or they're just a copy of each other Perhaps the buttons, though, might be a bit nicer on this one on the left. You can see the start select orientation is slightly different, but everything else looks the same. Um, presumably because the battery here is lying there that it doesn't have it in it. We'll pop that in. Strange, because you're not allowed to ship things without the lithium cells in them anymore, are you? And there is a little card. Positive review and get a 15 quid gift card. Ooh, might need to do that. And there's the controller, and that is a oldie style. I can already feel through the bag that the buttons here are not quite as deep as the original Famicom buttons, but it's it's nice. It looks it looks the part, doesn't it? And we'll just fire this one up. Christmas time. Oh, there are sort of manuals. I didn't really notice there are manuals with these things, but you won't need a manual. Ah, oh, different software. In fact, and I've just noticed something. There is an LED on these. Has this one got the LED as well? I've not noticed. There's a little hole there, which is a little LED hole. It doesn't do anything on this one. But on this one, it definitely illuminated. Look by my little thumb there. I'm going to zoom in. See? So maybe it only comes on when the battery is low. Oh, there we go. Get that nice and low. Chinese English. So this one starts off with Chinese on the menu rather than English, but that's fine. So, Super Mario Brothers, Dr. Mario, Turtle Fighter Contra. Let's turn the sound. And there's the uh, Chippendale. Chippendale dude right there. Russian Attack, Adventure Island, Bubble Bubble, Ninja Gaiden, Double Dragon, Hot Bloods. We saw a, bu a couple of Hot Bloods on the last one, but not as many on this one. Robocop, Bomberman, Burger Time, Circus Charlie, Defender. Ooh. Can I just have a quick go at Defender? You won't, you won't begrudge me. A quick go. Oh, it's Defender 2 as well. Now you get a better view of everything. Yes. I'm trying to play it on the camera screen, so I'm getting a bit of lag. But my gosh, it looks really good. The screen is really bright. That is pretty good. I'm really impressed, actually. Um, we should compare these side by side, shouldn't we? Turn the sound off. Let's just see if we go to uh, English, English, 
And we're not going to go through the menu on the 400 in totality because we know there's a lot of those. But let's see if we can just find the same game on both. So we've got Mario Bros on the left. And I saw Mario Bros here on the right. Again, the um, controls did, does seem, did, you know, did seem to jump over a couple on the uh, one on the right. So I'm a little bit... Um, I don't know, maybe the, I think these ones are the, the edge, definitely. Uh, comparing the screens side by side, let's see. I'm going to hold it up away from the camera so I can have a look myself. Um, yeah, not much in it. I'd say they're probably the same screen technology. Let's do some double Mario action. <laughs> yeah, it can't be done. It can't be done. So that's it pretty much. Um, I'm really impressed with both, to be honest with you. If I have a preference, though, in terms of uh, the quality of feel and things, I'd say this one on the left. If um, you're looking, though, for maybe a few more games, it did seem that the one on the right might have the edge on that. Um, I know I didn't go through the, the menu in total, but you get the idea. They've got all your favourites, and your favourites are what matter, isn't it, really? Uh, I don't know how much mappy uh, you can stand. But, you know, as long as you get Pac-Man and a bit of Dig Dug. Uh, these are not the 16-bit uh, variants. Sometimes of these you do get 16-bit versions, um, which are running, you know, Sega Mega Drive type emulators and things. These certainly uh, are not that. Um, but no, I'm, I'd be pretty happy just getting these 8-bit games in there. Look here on the left, Devil World. You hardly ever see that. As ever, thanks for watching.